Today's poem is meant to be read at speed because it's designed to be read in a train station. It's from Poems on the Underground. I like it because it's specifically about letter writing, something I'm passionate about. And it's describing what's happening at one end of the communication and at the other. It's called Letters from Yorkshire and it's written by Maura Dooley. Letters from Yorkshire. In February, digging his garden, planting potatoes, he saw the first lapwings return and came indoors to write to me, his knuckles singing as they reddened in the warmth. It's not romance, simply how things are. You out there in the cold, seeing the seasons turning. Me with my heart full of headlines, feeding words onto a blank screen. Is your life more real because you dig and so? You wouldn't say so, breaking ice in a water butt, clearing a path through snow. Still, it's you who sends me word of that other world, pouring air and light into an envelope, so that at night, watching the same news in different houses, our souls tap out messages across the icy miles. I love that line. Pouring air and light into an envelope. In that sense in which when you are writing, he's, this writer has seen something and immediately comes indoors to write. And the recipient feels that sense of air and light coming to them out of the envelope when they open it. And I think it's kind of odd, isn't it? Because there's a phrase about people who would come to the opening of an envelope and it's derogatory. It's about people who would come for what they think are going to be public gatherings, you know, the openings of films, openings of plays, things like that. Only they are so desperate for publicity they would come to the opening of an envelope. But in actual fact, the opening of an envelope is the beginning of a private performance, a private communication, a private art form, which can be as exciting as those big public performances, in my opinion. I very much revere, enjoy, like, and would argue for the continuation of letter writing. So I'll read this to you one more time. And may it be for you as if someone is sending this communication in the envelope of a video and bringing you a little story and a little sense of what else is out there and someone else's observation. Letters from Yorkshire. In February, digging his garden, planting potatoes, he saw the first lapwings return and came indoors to write to me, his knuckles singing as they reddened in the warmth. It's not romance, simply how things are. You out there in the cold, seeing the seasons turning, me with my heart full of headlines, feeding words onto a blank screen. Is your life more real because you dig and sow? You wouldn't say so, breaking ice on a water butt, clearing a path through snow. Still, it's you who sends me word of that other world, pouring air and light into an envelope, so that at night, watching the same news in different houses, our souls tap out messages across the icy doesn't that make you want to write a letter to a friend and put it in an envelope and post it off? <laughs>